have your attention here in the media center. We are joined by the Bushlight Pole Award winner for the Great American Getaway 400 here at Pocono Raceway. That's Ty Gibbs, the number 54 Monster Energy Toyota for Joe Gibbs Racing. Uh, if you have a question for Ty, please raise your hand. We'll get a wireless microphone to you. We'll start with Zach and then go to Davey. Zach Sterniolo, NASCAR.com. Ty, congratulations on this, um, especially at a track where this is where you made your Cup Series debut to qualify on pole here. What's this one mean for you? Yeah, it's really cool. Um, it's crazy how fast time goes Time goes by, that's for sure, and um, all that stuff that happens in between it. But it's really cool to get the pole here. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks, thanks all, everybody that helps me out. It was, it was a fun qualifying session. I feel like I always have fun coming to Pocono, so... Um, hopefully we can go in tomorrow. Go next to Davey. Davey Siegel with Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. Kind of off of that, Ty. First top five in a cup car here last year. You finished twice here. You finished second here twice in Xfinity. Does this place specifically to you have any other significant meaning given all the major things that have kind of happened here for you? Um, not, not a whole lot. I mean, I feel like it's pretty – I just really, really like this place, and my, I feel like my cars are all been – all's always have been really good here so um it's it's been fun and hopefully we can capitalize on it tomorrow here the man in the black shirt eddie Kalegi, motorsports today ty congrats on the poll and you know as you mentioned two years ago you made your debut here and you were towards the back and you kind of hung towards the back to start just getting a feel now you're going to be leading the field to green can you put into context kind of the growth you've been able to have at such a young age here in just two years in the Cup Series? It's, yeah, definitely a lot for sure. A lot of it just more experience than, than anything. So um, it's it's been really fun, and I really appreciate my whole career. I've been really thankful and have, have been blessed to have a very fun career. So um, it's been it's been a good time, and and uh, it's definitely crazy how fi fast time goes by. That's a Scott. Scott Walsh from the uh, Scranton Times Tribune. Uh, congratulations, Ty. Can you just describe the uh, the lap, uh, you know, that got you the pole? Um, it, it was, you, you know, you were the last guy out there and everything like that. So just kind of take us through the uh, through that lap. Yeah, it was it was really good. I feel like I had a clean lap. Um, I was kind of nervous because we didn't have a they eliminated our break between the two rounds. So um, I feel like we didn't have enough time to cool our stuff off. But luckily, it was it was still really good, and I feel like that shows the speed of my car and. Um, but yeah, I feel like we're, we're really solid. My car handled really well. It's three corners you have to put together. Um, and it's a, a very, tr I guess, a tricky place in a way, but it's really fun too. So um, it kind of just keeps you on your toes, I guess. Go next to Claire. I know that you love to get wins and polls and whatnot, but you're usually humble with polls because you know that it's not done to you get the win, right? That you don't like to celebrate too much just getting the pole. However, that gives you a great starting spot. How much is that an advantage, you know, to be starting from the front on Sunday? It's a really big advantage, especially for my pit crew and having the first pit stall is really important um, getting out of it. So um, it's really, really nice to have that, have that spot to, to start in and, um, but besides that, I, you know, I feel like it's, you know, we're really solid. I feel like it is what it is, and we'll just hammer down and try to go win tomorrow. And for the fans who will never get to drive a race car here and who will be watching, what is so much fun for you about racing at Pocono? I mean, I, I think there's a lot that plays into it. It's, we have really, there's really long straightaways here, so it's like going down the highway and then hanging a left. <laughs> into the trees so it's just a lot it's it's you know it's a lot a lot a lot going on um but at the same time you have a lot of time to kind of rest so it's really fun and in the way the track is laid out i just feel like there's the characteristics of the track is are really great and how it all works so i hope they don't repave it and just leave it how it is congratulations on the poll good luck in the race thanks claire Get the gentleman in the back mason smith with the pocono record ty with martin truick jr and danny hamlin kind of being a part of the know Joe Goods racing family what was it like kind of having them lean on if you did lean on them for any advice or anything else to kind of help you prepare for Pocono this weekend yeah I didn't um I don't really talk to him before the race just more at the racetrack and unless I have something we kind of talk about in the meeting but um I really always appreciated the teammates I got to be with and um and I've been around a lot of great people luckily so it's been really fun and 
Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I talk to my teammates here casually, but not not a whole lot um, as much as I used to do when I was really young. So, yeah. Any additional questions for Ty? We're gonna go back to Scott. Ty, you're still looking for that, uh, obviously, not only first career win, but you know, win this season to lock you into the playoffs. Can you just talk about, you know, about that? I mean, you're, you're in a pretty good points position above the cut line, but can you just talk about, um, you know, with, with, you know, as these spots are only four available left for points or whatever it is, just kind of what the mindset is, and you know, talk about, uh, you know, how it possibly clearly a win would get you in the playoffs. Yeah, a win would definitely get us in the playoffs. So that's, um, I think, our goal is to go win. And, I mean, be smart outside of that, but. Um, go get great stage points and go win is the biggest thing. I mean, it's pretty takes care of about everything. So, any additional questions? Well, Ty, congratulations on winning the poll and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Take care.